Today I'm going to give an overview of Heidi SQL. Heidi SQL is a GUI tool to manage SQL databases. Uh, it's a good choice for uh, MySQL now that they're no longer going to support MySQL Workbench. Uh, it comes packaged with Maria, which is a uh, kind of separate fork of MySQL. And if we look up here, actually at the network types, it even supports a number of other um, SQL servers, including Microsoft. So if you're using uh, multiple different servers or need to connect to multiple different servers, you can use this tool to connect to them all. All right, so uh, this window right here is the window you see when you first open up Heidi SQL, and it's the login window. And so you have pr profiles over to the left, uh, which can have different logins to the same server or different logins to different servers and even different types of servers. Uh, over here is uh, the uh, network type. So uh, in this case, we're using a Maria DB or a MySQL connection. Uh, but if we had a different type of database uh, or a different type of SQL server, we, we could select it there. Uh, this is where we put our uh, host name right here. Um, it's running local on this machine, the, the uh, demo database I have running, which is MySQL. And you can put your uh, username and password here. Um, and so, and the port number down here. And so I'm going to go ahead and open a connection. And it brings up MySQL. And uh, over on the left here, this is the, this is a server at the top. And these are all the databases that are within this MySQL server. Uh, and uh, it's very well organized. Uh, it's very similar to other tools. Uh, but if you click on any of these databases, it will list the table. So uh, let's go to uh, World down here, which is a demo database. If we go here to City, if we click on the table, it tells us what fields or columns are within the table, what the what the primary key and such is uh, on there. And so we can edit that from there. Uh, so the other thing is, uh, let's go up here to Sequila, which is another uh, MySQL database. And we're gonna go to uh, Actor here. And so we have that table selected. It shows us, once again, all the fields in that data and uh, in the table and the, and the key in it. But if we go up here to data, you can see it lists all the data. So if we want to see all of the data in there, we can list it here and scroll through it. We can also go over here and do a, do a query. If we go over to the query tab right here, we can type in a query. We're in the Sequila um, uh, database because we have the table actor highlighted, but if, as long as we have uh, Sequila highlighted or uh, one of the databases in it, it knows we're talking about that particular database. So this is just a basically a command to display all uh, records in the table actor. What we do is, this is a little bit confusing because there's an arrow here, but that's just the icon saying this is the query tab. This is the arrow right up here to play the query. So we'll go there and it, it's, as you can see, it's listed out everything on our table. Uh, so we could do a similar thing and just change this to another different table name and go to address and we'll list everything out on the address as well. So, so you can run any query, including much more complex ones, obviously, but this is just a demo to show you where that functionality is in it. Uh, so then if we go back to the data tab right here, we're still on the actor table and the data here. We can actually go up here and there's a little green plus uh, up here. And so we can hit the plus and uh, enter data right into the uh, row right here. So let's uh, put Jane and then Doe in this up. Uh, other fields automatically uh, puts the update date in it. So now we add, we've added a record there. Uh, it's out of order. It, it, it just kind of goes right in there, uh, wherever you put it, basically, wherever your cursor is, but doesn't delete anything else. Uh, so we can go and we can reorder this by clicking on this uh, column down here, and you'll see it's going to be record uh, 102. And so if we wanted to uh, edit, we can go right into the, just like it was an Excel spreadsheet, we could change this guy's name from John to Jack. And so that's updated that as well. And we can actually highlight this row and go up here and hit this red X and it will delete the row. So you can actually edit the database within this uh, and add records and subtract records. It's not the best interface for that, uh, but it's good so you can see and test things as you're developing a front end, whether it's a web or another sort of app that connects to your SQL database. So that was a quick overview of Heidi SQL to kind of show you basically where the main functionality of it is and uh, to show you the user interface and where everything 
is in how it's laid out. 